Welcome to this channel everybody. I wanted to uh, talk with you today about another project I've been working on which is a pulsed iron motor and uh, uh, to make the rotor for this motor I basically got a, a standard um, screw like this one and then basically sawed off the uh, the treaded part of the screw and just kept the head of the screw which you can see here and what I did is I soldered some copper wires onto it, made sure that the lengths of the copper wires were balanced, and then um, put this on, a, on top of a, uh, of a pin, a fulcrum, to make sure that this whole thing was centered and balanced, which it, which it turned out to be. Then what I did is sharpen the ends to make points for plasma discharge. And what I want to do with this particular iron motor rotor is to see if it will work with a pulsed system. So uh, a typical pulsed uh, system would be like a uh, a gated uh, Tesla coil, a pulsed Tesla coil. And I've been working on one of those, the SSTC2 project. So I want to see if I can drive this rotor with a pulsed Tesla coil output just to see how that would look. I haven't done this before so I'm not uh, sure whether it's going to work or not. So Let's get it set up. So here's my Pulse Tesla coil. This is a finished product. This is the SSTC2 that I've been working on. And uh, what I'm going to do is try to vary the frequency of the pulse. So I'm going to keep the pulse width the same, but vary the frequency to see how that causes the rotor to spin. And I'm also going to increase the, the output by using a variac. So I've got it connected into a variac, and I'll just crank it up to see how that looks. So let's get started. Okay, here's it with the rotor perched on top and the rotor is completely motionless. So I'm going to try and get this thing turning just from the pulsed output of the Tesla coil itself. So let's get, let's try this and see what happens. Okay, I'm turning it on right now. I'm going to increase the frequency of it. I thought it can move faster and faster. Now we're going to increase the voltage. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is some um, time-lapse photography, not time-lapse, but time exposure photography of the um, output of this. Here are the timed exposures. These are just amazing, especially in darkness. You can see the uh, fronds of uh, plasma. It's incredible. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching.